Hey guys, I thought I'd just introduce a video for you today. This was a super requested video, probably one of our most requested videos of all time. People were really keen to see Grilled. So, we did it. Sweetie. Mmm. <laughs> the chippies. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, it's so sorry, Garrett. Today, we are going to be trying each other's grilled orders. Was that passionate enough for you, Scott? I've been going to grilled for ages. Love their burgers. Delicious. Always a hit with the fam. I've never seen a menu so diverse and so tailored to the Australian market. I'll be honest, I've had grilled like once in like 10 years, so I'm very excited to see what grilled's got to offer. I love grilled. Grilled is what you get when you feel like being a greasy piece of shit and ordering something indulgent but they make like healthy burgers, so you can have both. Por que no las dos? My favorite thing about them is the bottle caps for charity that they do. So you get a bottle cap with your order and they have three different jars, depending on which restaurant you're at that support local charities. And you get to pick which one that they're gonna donate the money to. And I think that's really cool. The important things, you know, good bun, good kind of patty, and then all the other stuff is just a bonus on top. I want something with a little extra flavor, a little extra punch, something that you would specifically go to grilled for, because if it's just a regular burger, you can pretty much grab one at any corner shop. You know, hands down, I've got the best burger on the menu and no one can tell me otherwise. We'll be rating each other's orders out of 10 and whoever scores the highest will be the winner. With bragging rights. Run down to the comments right now. Write down who you think is gonna win before we find out. Let's get a bet going, guys. My go-to grilled order is the Simply Grilled. It has the iconic grilled herbed mayo, which they are very well known for. And I always get a little chippies and a little sweet chili mayo. Just for a little something to dunk in it, you know? This one's looking nice and meaty. Oh yeah. Look at the size of that patty. This is insane. Nicely toasted bun, which I think is, is a nice touch, so I'm excited about that. Meat looks pretty good. Let's dig in. Mmm. Meat's not bad. The bun's probably the strongest part. Delicious. A bit plain? Maybe. Like, there could be something else on here. There's this herbed mayo on the top bun. It's actually my favourite part of this burger. Like, this is it. If you could virtually taste this through the screen. Like you would jump out of your seat because it's so good. That's like the best part of this burger. No cheese in the burger. I think, you know, burger and cheese go super well together. So definitely expected there to be a little bit of cheese on there. I'm a bit more adventurous in my flavor range. So I wouldn't normally go for this. Look at how beautiful. This was delivered to me like this. That is stunning. I think every other fast food chain needs to look at how grilled season their fries and do the same thing because it's flavor you can see. Mm. Chips are good, solid, really yummy. That's awesome. The herbs just taste so good. The mayo, it's nice. It's a little bit too sweet in my eyes. A little tiny bit of spice there, which is good. I'll give it a seven out of 10. If you're not super hungry, it'd be a good thing to go for. Solid option. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10, just one point for a bad mayo. I think I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. There's room to grow, but it's perfectly fine on its own and I would probably order it again. So my order is the Wagyu Wonder with zucchini chips and tomato relish. Now the reason mine is the best is because the Wagyu Wonder is the top Tier. Oh, it's so delicious and juicy. And then zucchini fries, they're just more superior to the regular fries and a little more avant garde. Check that bad boy out. So you want the melty cheese, you see that straight away. I'm ready to kind of dig in because, you know, looks great, super appealing. So visually, already pretty stoked. Normally, when I go into a burger joint, I'm all about like the American cheeseburger. And I kind of feel like this maybe is Grilled's answer to that. It looks exactly the same as the other one. So let's see if it tastes any different. Okay. Oh my God. Why have I not been getting this burger? That is yummo. You know, big fan of the Wagyu beef. The melted cheese, I think it's a winner. I think you need the salad because this right now is just super basic. I love that this is Wagyu. It's like we didn't just get a normal cow. We got a cow all the way from Japan. Arigato gozaimasu, little cow. I'm sorry that you had to perish, but 
Damn, you are yummy. Maybe I'm not a super fancy person, but I just can't taste the difference between the Wagyu and the regular beef. I'm gonna try to get a pickle bite. Um, let's see how that goes. Oh my God. That instantly enhanced the burger. Now we have our little zucchini fries. Look at these guys. That's funky. These are party fries. Mmm. Mmm. That is actually way better than I thought it would be. Super crunchy. Still tastes fresh. It's just like you take a bite and it's just like zucchini sludge with like oil, which is not my vibe, but it could be the vibe of some other people. Okay guys, I get it now. These are delicious. Oh my God. What have I been doing all these years going to grill and not getting this order? I was lost, but now I'm found. This is gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm probably gonna order this next time I go to Grilled. Pleasantly surprised by Grilled Sauce Game. It's like a posh version of uh, fast food. I'd give it a eight out of 10, a strong score for a strong meal. Wow, I really thought this was gonna overperform. I'm gonna have to give this one a six just so that it sits below the Simply Grilled. It's fine, but you know, do better. <laughs> So my order is the Bar Bar Burger. So that is a lamb burger, just to be a little bit different, that delicious Australian lamb flavor. And that's got avocado on it, Spanish onion, tasty cheese. It's just absolutely beautiful and it really hits the spot. So on the side, I get the regular fries and I get a chipotle mayo with that because you need dip for chips. You just always like, where's the sauce? There must be sauce. The Bar Bar Burger. I feel like the name of it is a little bit funny. This burger has heft. First ever lamb burger. I'm glad this is filmed for, you know, posterity. Curious to see if this stacks up. <laughs> okay, wow. Mm, damn, this tastes good. You can see in there just there's some avocado. This is like the full Aussie experience. Definitely tastes healthier than a normal burger. Fresh red onion on there. So you get that nice crunch that the other burgers haven't really had. I also feel like the avocado kind of got hot and it's a little bit like mushy in the middle. So you can't taste, you know, you can't taste it. It just doesn't shine. I feel like the herb mayo, definitely saving it. Chipotle mayo. Again, maybe it's gonna be a little bit spicy. Let's see. That's a little bit spicy. I'm on board with it. Good chips, good seasoning, good salt. Chipotle, mayo, it's kind of too smoky and it's just not a good flavor balance. So I'm not a fan of it. I think I'm gonna rate uh, 7.5 out of 10. It's like pretty yummy. I probably wouldn't order it, um, but if you're a lamb lover, then you're probably gonna love this. Like lamb and avocado sounds like it shouldn't go together at all. It's actually a really weird combination, but yeah, it's good. Weirdly, it goes pretty good together. I'm gonna go eight and a half out of 10. Wham, bam, thank you, lamb. You're getting a six out of 10. My go-to order at Grilled is the Chili Addict Burger, yummy beef burger with spice, which is fantastic, and a side of the chips. Simple, but awesome. So I hope the other guys doing this like spice. Otherwise, I don't think I'll be winning. Holy bagoli, look at that. This has feelings just coming out. I love it. Kind of terrified about this one. I am terrible with spice. I'm one of those people that's like, oh, the pepper sure does give it a kick. I am a chili addict, I love spice. So I hope that it hits all the right notes. Let's give this one a taste. Oh yes, I feel so good. That's actually really yummy. I'm just waiting for the spice to hit me. It's definitely spicy, but like not so spicy that you wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah, this one's got me dancing on my chair. Ooh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be coming out of like the seventh circle of hell. This isn't that hot. It's actually like really yummy. It's a refreshing kick. I like the crunch of the pickled jalapenos. I don't think the pepper adds anything. Like it's not spicy, it's just kind of like there. That capsicum, it's really got me. Like I'm not sure if that is an ingredient that I would classically go for. I feel like it's trying to be very new wave. <sighs> okay, I'm starting to feel the chili a little bit more now. <clears throat> May have spoken too soon. Like it's a good hefty burger. It's got like fresh ingredients. 
I don't know, it just didn't hit for me. I'm like trying to find the reason because this should be like mind blowing, right? I am a tomato relish stan. So yeah, this is a good one. Mmm, yum. I haven't had tomato relish in ages. Mmm. There's just nothing like grilled chips. It's just way too sweet for me. And I think it ruins the whole experience. Like the chips on their own. Absolutely amazing, delicious, 10 out of 10. So all in all, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 because I'm pleasantly surprised and I love it. If I were the kind of person who loved spice, I think I'd be kind of disappointed by it not being like crazy, crazy, crazy hot. I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10. This is tough because it's like the most interesting, but did I enjoy it more than the other two? Hmm. I guess yes, yes. I think I would choose this burger over the other two. So I'm gonna have to give this one a out of 10. Maybe switch out the sauce though. Don't love the sauce. I'm so excited to find out if I won. I'm the winner, what? By half a point, Ryan? I think that the moral of the story is Go for the top tier product and you'll fly high. Ryan Wan, did you guys guess that correctly? Because if you did, you should go and comment on your comment that you left earlier and let us know.